Greetings, and welcome back to another video. Now today, I'm doing a different kind of survival video. Here, I'm going to show you the cost, the approximate cost of my survival kit. Basically by just looking through everything in it, telling you how much it costs. Now, what's the purpose of this? Just to show you exactly what it takes to have an awesome survival kit like I got. Now keep in mind, you don't have to spend large sums of money on your survival kit. You can just, you know, do whatever. Really? Really, though, when going over this, I it turned out it was a lot more expensive than I thought it was. It just, I kept adding on to it over, yeah, since I started doing this, and eventually it just all added up. So, let's get started, you yeah, know, with this. This is my Gerber. It was actually my first knife. I, it was about 20 bucks at Walmart. And I'm not sure if you can get it cheaper anywhere else, but 20 bucks. Then, here in the side pocket, we got my slingshot. It's a rich rocket, pretty good slingshot, and a pouch of steel pellets that I use as ammo for it. The steel pellets were about two or three dollars. And the slingshot, about fifteen. So, seventeen. Thirty-seven. And then, this pocket right here, my canteen. I actually got this at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, which is, if I remember correctly, the largest knife showroom in the world. And they had a 30-foot sword. It's my, you know, one of my favorite places in the world. But this canteen, it was about $15. Convenient. So, 37 plus 15, that's... $52. And we haven't even gotten inside the kit yet. Now, this you know, side thing right here. 8 1 screwdriver set. $1 at the Dollar Tree. Deck of cards. If I, yeah, I got this in a pack of two for $5, so $2.50. Let's just say $3. Pack of hand warmers, we will come back to that. Folding saw. So is our trail. Not that good a folding saw, but it was 10 bucks. So not exactly a silky saw, but good for a budget. Okay, that's that part done. This other yeah, you know, pouch right here. This is the cleaner for my water filter. I just, it's inside the kit. I just keep it here because I needed to, another place to put it in. There's only room there. This is pretty much worthless. So we're still at about sixty bucks. Paracord. This is a. This was originally a 50 foot hank of paracord but it is a lot less now because i've been using it to make things like uh the string on this bow that i made over here might do a tutorial on how to make one of those soon or the paracord wraps on that knife i made i'm still doing the video i'm making now it was about five bucks for 50 foot of it so matches dollar hand sanitizer I actually didn't buy this so flashlight dollar at the Dollar Tree lost my good flashlight well I didn't lose it it was more so destroyed by children but two dollars two dollars 
dollar for the flashlight, dollar for the batteries inside, and I'm trying to get a better flashlight. And my compass, Ozark Trail, came in a set of other stuff with $15 in it. And got this whistle. Got a, therm got a thermos, thermometer in it, as well as a compass, but it's just a whistle and it came with that compass. And so, yeah, we haven't even gotten yeah, the real inside of the kit yet, and we're already at about 100 bucks. Now, let's check this pouch right here uh, on the top. First off, a pair of gloves. I got these for Christmas, but I'm pretty sure they're wrong. I'm, but I got a really good pair of gloves over there for a dollar. Actually, it was about five dollars, but it came in a set of five. But, so, these I can't really say anything on. But you can get really great gloves for extremely cheap, so let's just say a dollar for that. Then... My emergency survival kit, I'll go over that in a minute. Headlamp. Came with the compass and whistle, so that's not being counted into more into the, any more into the cost. And what is currently my first aid kit. Got a Dollar Tree first aid kit, earplugs, remnants of my old first aid kit, and the other part of the hand warmers, which was a set for 50 cents because it was on sale. All in all, this first aid kit, I'd say it's about $5 minus the hand warmers. I really need a better first aid kit. But, you know, Christmas is next month, so might get lucky. And that's all in there. Now, let's go over... Yeah, the, my uh, current... What is currently my emergency EDC survival kit. Paracord bracelet. Ten bucks on Amazon, I think. Five or ten. Yes, the filter for a Sawyer mini water filter. Twenty bucks for the entire filter. And the cleaner. And the straw. Bug spray. Six bucks. Bandana. One dollar. Lockpick set. Seven dollars. At the... Uh, China Bazaar in, uh, yet yeah, China Bazaar in, uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Oh, this was Walmart. Also Walmart. You can get some pretty good survival stuff at Walmart. Poncho, 99 cents. Walmart. Emergency blanket. Think about this. I didn't really pay for this. This was a gift, but I think... Five or ten bucks at Walmart. Got the squeeze bag for my filter. This is one of the main reasons why I say Sawyer, the Sawyer is better than the Life Straw. It actually gives you a carrying container for it instead of having to drink directly from the water source. And it allows you to actually move the water somewhere after you're done with it. Now, I actually, and this is a great water filter, but also. I did, a, I did a review of it when I, back when I actually first got this, and I have so far yet to have died of dysentery. Got a makeshift trapping kit, just some wire that I got at the Dollar Tree, one of my home, homemade waterproof containers. You could, I actually sell these in my uh, business, you know, the Backyard Armory, 10 for a dollar. And so far at the moment, they come in with salt and sugar in them, but I'm hoping to get up to some basic first aid stuff, maybe some cotton, fire starters, that kind of stuff. But this, honestly, I'd say about a dollar, depending on what you have lying around the house and how willing you are to steal straws from McDonald's. Then, broken bit of a hacksaw. This is just literally trash. You can find this in the trash. Or if you, or you're like me and your hacksaw broke when you were trying to cut out shurikens from saw blades. Signaling mirror. This also trash. I found this in the garage while I was cleaning it, and then I proceeded to soak it in bleach for about 20 minutes before I 
before it was usable. It is really good, though. And, I mean, honestly, a magnifying glass might be better to carry, but this, I'm not going to complain about free useful survival gear. Lighter. Yeah. Sorry, can't really show it. The ceiling fan's on. But that, you can get a lighter for about a dollar or two dollar at any dump at any uh, gas station but I got but this one yeah I got this at a gas station in a pack of two for yeah I think maybe two or three bucks then earplugs another pair of these notice the trend I keep a lot of pairs of earplugs that's because I have really sensitive hearing and I am and I can get it and it gets overstimulated easy Got a whistle, just to completely negate the earplugs. <laughs> just kidding. Signaling whistle. This actually came with my first original first aid kit, so don't really have an exact price for that. And my pocket knife. It's a great pocket knife, but this was a Christmas gift uh, that I got a couple years, either last year or the year before that. I honestly don't have a price for this because. You know, I don't exactly look up the price for my Christmas gifts uh, when I get them. 